We will try to understand column generation usage in solving real life problem in this presentation. Picture this, you run a major e-commerce company. Let's call it Fastbox. Every morning, your warehouse is filled with thousands of orders to be delivered all across the city. You've got everything from small phone cases to giant flat screen TVs, and it's your job to get all these packages to customers' doorsteps by the end of the day. Oh, and by the way, your drivers don't want to drive an extra mile if they don't have to. Gas prices are through the roof, and every minute stuck in traffic means more angry customer reviews. You have dozens of delivery trucks waiting to be loaded, but there's a catch. Each truck has a different capacity, and you can't just toss packages in randomly. You need to pack each truck smartly to avoid cramming fragile items like laptops under heavy boxes of dumbbells. And when the trucks hit the road, you don't want them wandering around aimlessly or taking the scenic route. Time is money. So how do you figure out which truck gets which packages? How do you pack them efficiently so no truck is underloaded or overloaded? And how do you make sure the routes they take minimize driving time, avoid rush hour traffic, and keep your customers happy? Imagine one of your drivers, Mike, decides to ignore the GPS and take his shortcut through a busy downtown area. Sure, Mike loves the view, but by the time he gets through the traffic jams, his packages are late and you get angry calls from customers. Or let's say Sarah, another driver, decides to load just one box in her van and deliver it across town. She gets there in record time, but she wasted half a tank of gas and now has to rush back to pick up the rest of her deliveries jams. His packages are late and you get angry calls from customers. This is what we call a vehicle routing problem, a massive real world puzzle that companies like yours have to solve every day. But wait, there's another challenge. The packages come in all shapes and sizes. You need to fit packages into trucks in a way that minimizes wasted space, just like a giant game of Tetris. This leads us to the cutting stock problem, which is all about making the best use of available space. So how do we tackle these massive problems? Enter column generation, a powerful technique that helps solve problems with an overwhelming number of possible combinations by focusing only on the most promising options. Instead of generating all possible routes up front, column generation starts with a simple solution and then iteratively improves it by generating only the routes that will actually enhance the overall plan. At the heart of column generation is the master problem, the big boss. It decides which routes to use from a list of options. When the master problem needs better options, the pricing problem steps in, the detective on the hunt. It searches for new routes that can save time and money. Dual prices and reduced costs are the hidden forces in this process. Dual prices guide the master problem's decisions, while reduced costs help the pricing problem find the most valuable new routes. Through iteration, the master problem and pricing problem work together, refining the solution over time until the most efficient routes are found. The advantages of column generation are clear. It's computationally efficient, faster to solve, scalable for large problems, and flexible across different industries. Column generation isn't just for delivery trucks. It's used in classroom scheduling, flight and crew assignments, hospital staffing, public transport timetabling, and retail stock replenishment. In the fast-paced world of logistics, efficiency is everything. Column generation provides the tools to solve complex routing problems, saving time and resources while keeping customers happy. Thank you for your interest in discovering the usefulness of column generation in addressing complex real-world challenges and facilitating efficient, timely decisions.